Hello, it's Drug Lines, and I think this is the fifth video. This one's going to be on uh, troubleshooting. Um, and it's just some basic troubleshooting stuff with web scraping. Um, and it really isn't going to show too much about the code. It's more about the thought process and, and how I, I often deal with stuff. Uh, the very first thing is um, it's just a, a general coding thing about troubleshooting. A uh, hint I read a long time ago was to have a bobblehead doll and have it in front of you and actually talk to the doll, ex saying the problem, pretend you're talking to a friend or a colleague, and uh, if they, you know, if you're having a problem, often when you're saying what you're trying to do, you'll realize um, the error. Uh, so that's the first is general tip. The second one, let's say, um, I use message boxes a lot. They're, they're very simple, but for web scraping, they, they come in pretty handy. Uh, and the, the very first one, let's see if I get a pointer. Um, well, I got... That, I think actually I already have that function down below, so let me get rid of that part of it. Um, and I'm going to save it, reload it. Now, of course, there's nothing here, but the very first thing I do is if I'm trying to grab text from, let's say, this page, it doesn't right, it doesn't matter, but um, see this URL right here? right? So the first thing I do is put up a message box with the pwb. Let me make those caps just so you can see it there. Now, if if when you run something like this, you put a pointer and you just put location URL, and it does not come back with this, uh, the very first thing I do is I go look at my pointer and, and figure out why my pointer isn't working. There are at least three different pointers I use. There's this WB get. There's also one that's called something like get IE, and then there's one called IE get. Um, I think they're, they're, they're all functions, they work like this somewhat, but if you search the AutoHotKey forums, you'll find them, and if, if, if this does not come back with um, having some sort of a locus URL, that probably means you're not actually getting um, the object, which is another one I will do, is uh, I'll say, oops, I missed. So, is, the th is this pointer an object? Oh, and it's not. Oh, that's because it's. Um, oh, well, duh. I don't. I don't know if this will still work. It should. Yeah. So one means yes, it is an object, uh, and that verifies at least. At least this is an object. If it wasn't even an object, right, I might have some other problems. Um, and then I start going through and saying, okay, well, what am I? What am I trying to grab? Let's say I was. Uh, you know what I should have done was gone to a page that had. Uh, Let's go back to Amazon, and we'll go to the login page. That was the one I used in my first video. And I have this email, so I'm going to copy that, come back here. So we know that's an object, and I'm going to say, um, where'd it go? Uh, get from page, get uh, we'll get the unique one. Okay, that's email. Now value. Oops, I'll have to put. So it is. It just grabbed that from there. But what if it? What if it didn't? Right. One of the things I also will try is um, changes from value to outer HTML, and that should be grabbing. Um, it, it's actually displayed here, right? It grabs the the wrapper to that. Um, you might also, depending on on what it is, and see see right there, see how that changed to inner text. Sometimes the things, you know, you may not realize it, but it's it's an it has to be an inner text instead of value. Um, and see there, I used inner text, and it didn't work off of email because it said value, right? So depending on what you're grabbing, um, I think most of them often, uh, almost always have outer HTML, so maybe it's a better place to start and then switch it to the when you're trying to get the text. Uh, the, the, another one I will do is is uh, I get the pointer to it and then I'll say, let's see if that's, uh, I think, no, I didn't like that. Um, what I was gonna, alluding to, so let's pw. I think is it here, links. So there are 11 links in this page, right? And this was leveraging that this this is an object, um, and that this was telling me how many there are, 
right? Another thing I often do is um, I'll forget that, uh, let's say I wanted to, I'm thinking I'm going to get the inner text of, let's, let's stick with, um, oh, I think href should work. So I'm going to change this to href. It's not going to work though, right? The problem is, at least I know one of the problems, is that is an array. So let me see what happens if I do it this way. There we go. So there's the first one. Uh, that'll be the third because there's zero indexed the the different um, URLs. Uh, I'm I'm pointing this out though. My my point was often you'll have pointed to an object um, and you forget to to go back and add the array value because you're trying to get you're trying to get this I think it's an element from an object. The problem is the pointer is actually an array and um, this is bringing back an array. And so what you need to do is make sure you, you pass in this array value uh, to tell it which item in the array you want to get. So that's uh, that's what I, I frequently do incorrectly. Um, the, the next one is, is sometimes I will just go up the DOM. So here I will look at the what I'm trying to grab and then show parent structure and say oh you know what I'm trying to grab this but you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna go up a level and start up there and then I work my way back uh, I, I sometimes you're grab you're trying to grab something and you can't quite get it and so what I do is I go up a couple levels make sure I get that and then I start you know going back down from there uh, another big one is um, and this time I'll actually navigate to it so if we go to Jethro's this to post. Get rid of this stuff. Um, come back and again study what you're trying to grab. Make sure that um, if you're getting links, right, links are not under forms, right, so um, and elements in here need to be under document and as well as uh, links. So just make sure you, you've you structure, again, when you're grabbing frames, this is why for me frames were so hard, was that um, frames are not under document and you have to go back up first. And so th the next one I would highly recommend is you um, search both forums. Let me go back to my home page. So I have a link here. This goes to uh, the, the old auto hotkey forum. And then th uh, this one goes to the ahkscript.org version forum. And I, I search both of those, do quite a bit. If you can't find something helping you, what I, as a rule of thumb, I spend about two hours trying to figure something out on my own, especially if I think I'm pretty close. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm able to get most of what I want, but I can't quite get the last little bit. I'll spend several hours, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, like eight hours. I, I, I like problem solving, so I try to figure out. But my point is, don't spend a minute and a half, especially don't spend a minute and a half, don't search the forums and post a question. Spend a couple hours because also it helps you learn more. But but at the same time, don't, I would actually recommend spend like a max of two hours because sometimes I spend, you know, eight hours or more, post some, finally br decide, okay, I'll post the question to the forum and someone writes an answer. So there's two things. Someone writes an answer in five minutes that solves the problem um, and points out I never from troubleshooting would have figured out how to actually do it because it was outside of my element element of understanding of how the DOM works or something like that. The second one is people will post in the forum things that brilliantly solve the problem in a way I never would have thought of um, and, and much more concise and easy to read and using using objects which I'm new to and, and it's just like you find whole new approaches so they're great things. The other thing I would recommend though is when you do post the forum, don't just post need help with page, right, or web scraping. Uh, be a little more specific. Make sure you say you're trying to um, trying to grab an ID from a given page and you can't get the, you know, value to show or, or however. Uh, put it, obviously put that in the title. The better you put in the title descriptive, the, the right person will look at it and comment back. Um, the other thing is especially if you can isolate it down. So don't post your entire script if you have hundreds of lines of code. I try to narrow it down to the, the relevant stuff. And also what's really helpful is uh, make the URL you're doing it on um, publicly available, 
right? Which which sometimes means if you're doing stuff off of like let's say I was doing stuff off of my bank, right? I don't want to be posting that stuff. And let's say I had a problem with uh, getting a, a frame from there. Well, what I do is I start hunting around the web and find a, a different example that replicates, and I have the same issue, and then I can share that URL. That's it's obviously more time consuming. At the same time, it um, it allows people to really see what you're trying to do instead of theoretically talk about a website and what you're seeing. And you end up, when, when you don't give them the URL, you have to write a lot more um, explanation about what you're trying to do and what you're seeing in the IE tool, the, um, sorry, in this tool and you know what the values are receiving and different you know the pointers you're using and and I find it you know what um, I might as well just go hunt around the web and find a better an actual example that is shareable that I can provide to someone have them solve that for me there and then I just adapt it to my case because uh, because I do I do a lot of stuff with work that like from home here I can't click on this forum right um, so I can't also even if I wanted to I can't share that publicly so uh, anyway, that's uh, hopefully that'll help some, and best of luck.